boats and a mermaid in the water from the first test. I'm Chris Nordat. I'm an emeritus professor here at Princeton, but also at the University of Nice in France. I'm Frederick Simons, an associate professor of geophysics at Princeton University. I work on the structure of the interior of this solid earth using seismology, gravity, and magnetics. The very first uh, version of our device was called Mermaid-001, and Mermaid was the acronym invented by Hust that spells Mobile Earthquake Recording in Marine Areas by Independent Divers. When we do imaging of the Earth, we need seismic stations everywhere. If you have two-thirds of the Earth, it's oceanic, with no seismic stations or hardly any seismic stations, and it looks like a CAT scan in the hospital with two-thirds of the sensors that are broken down. We, we throw it in the water. It goes down to about a mile deep and it drifts passively with the ocean. So that means it may, be, it may go two or three miles per day. Um, it listens to the acoustic signals. Um, when there is a ship passing or when there is a whale singing in the neighborhood, it will actually analyze the signal, decide whether this is an earthquake or not. But when it decides that it is an earthquake, it comes to the surface, it measures, it takes GPS measurements of where it is, and it sends us a short seismogram, which I received by email. In the last five or six years, I have been uh, starting a second type of instrument called Sono Mermaid with uh, my colleague Bud Vincent from the University of Rhode Island. And Sono Mermaid is like Mermaid in that it has a hydrophone, or rather a series of them, at the same depth, but they are suspended from a cable that goes to a buoy which always stays at the surface. Because there is a surface buoy, it knows where it is and it knows what time it is very accurately. Our latest Sun and Mermaid deployment was, uh, we took two instruments to Bermuda, where Princeton has a collaboration with the Bermuda Institute for Ocean Sciences, and they were kind enough to lend us, or rather have us come on their scheduled trip on the Atlantic Explorer. And Bud Vincent, my colleague from the University of Rhode Island, and myself went, and along with us came two graduate students from Princeton and Rhode Island, uh, two more technicians, two undergraduates, in other words, a whole team of six or seven people. All of those hands were on deck and they were used in moving the instrument around on deck and then hooking it onto the uh, 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 pulley and crane system with which we lowered it into the ocean reeling out a thousand meters of cable, watching that all of that was done properly, and then uh, recovering the instrument a number of times to check on our uh, recordings and on the operation of the various pieces. The seas have calmed down a little bit. We just deployed the second Son of Mermaid. It went out beautifully. We're going to truck off, come back in a little bit, week, month, pull the data out and hopefully get some really good earthquakes. This is a really exciting time to be doing what we're doing because no one's doing this. Thank you.